Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next curling stadium.
And good evening, everybody. Welcome to our coverage of the Prestige Hotels and Resorts Curling Classic here on Friday night. My name is Matt Sussman, and I will be providing the coverage here on Curling Stadium of this Friday night matchup between the defending U.S. champion John Schuster and uh, this team out of British Columbia skipped by Nolan Blazer. You're already at skip stones, as you can see. Team Blazer with the hammer. And as we get our bearings here in this game, we see with Team Schuster throwing the yellow stones, sitting two under cover, trying to put the force on. Both of these teams coming into this game, losing their first game. And both teams just having three games scheduled this weekend. So they both sorely need this one to stay alive to advance to Sunday. Nolan Blazer's first stone thrown. Looks like they're trying to get in there, but looks like it might have just gotten shot out of that. It is completely wide open. John's got to be careful of his own stone in the back there, but I think with quiet weight, he can easily dispatch that blue rock. just gets by which one does he hit first he gets just enough of that blue rolls over under cover so the only shot left is the old draw for one Hammer thrown. Hammerstone has been thrown. Sweepers haven't touched it yet. It's not always a great sign. Blue 
Rock needs to stop, and it keeps sailing right through the house. And so with that, it's going to be, looks to be a steal of three for Team Schuster. We'll take a three nothing lead as we go. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. And we're back here in the second end of the Prestige Hotels and Resorts Curling Classic in Vernon, British Columbia. So an early steal of three, led by Miss Draw, gives a solid lead for the former Olympic gold medal team against this local team from British Columbia. As I mentioned earlier, both teams did lose their first match of this short weekend cash spiel. Um, team Blazer dropping their first match against Team Nobert six to one with Team Schuster losing their opener against Team Harada from Japan, eight to four, which leads to this match. The format is there are 12 teams on the men's side with three pools. So each team will play everybody else in their pool with uh, six qualifiers advancing to play to playoffs on Sunday. So for those unfamiliar with Team Schuster, they did not make any significant lineup changes from last year to this year, which is a rarity in the elite curling circuits. Uh, but you may see a new face that you may not be very familiar with. Um, John Landsteiner is not in the lineup for this game. Instead, that is Colin Huffman taking place. Huffman was the alternate for Team Schuster in the Olympics. And this year he has elected or accepted rather, whatever you want to call it, the fifth, fifth spot. So with a lot of teams stretching their schedules, deepening how many games they play, how many events they play, there's always a good use for a fifth player. And, and Colin is one of the best seconds in the country. So that's a really solid addition to deepen that lineup and add a good bench player. And of course, Matt Hamilton throwing second, Chris Flies third, and Schuster throwing vice. Skip stones, rather.
So the setup's looking pretty nice here. Nothing but yellow in play. Let's see, their last blue rock, didn't see anything wrong with it. Might have been a burnt stone. They've got some work to do if they want to set up any chance to score a couple here. Team Blazer going to go for the double peel here. Might be a chance at a triple if he hits it absolutely perfect. There's one. And he's just going to get the one and leave his shooter right there. So the lineup here for Team Blazer, we have Nolan Blazer at skip, Caden back at third, Nolan back at second, and Cone Hampshire throwing lead stones. Well, with the rocks piling up up front, I think the time to peel has ended, and it is time for them to try to get in the house. So we present it right away. So with that draw attempt, they didn't quite get the line, but they had the weight pretty well. It is nice and open for Schuster to softly hit it and possibly roll a couple inches. And that will do just fine. Excellent hit and roll executed by Chris Plies. Scoring area getting smaller by the way the end is progressing. Chance here for a double takeout. Let's try to clear a lane to find a scoring path. And they get one, but not the second. Opens it up a little bit.
Yeah, that, that little tap up attempt didn't quite have the line, so it will rest in the back of the house. This might be Team Blazer's best chance of getting a stone in there that can't be removed. So a good shot there. Blazer Stone is certainly hard to get out completely easily. It is sitting for shot. It is probably half open, if not more than half open, so it can certainly be accessible to uh, draw down to it because it is behind the T line. So excellent chance to prevent a, a score or two from happening here. That freeze attempt just over curled a little bit is going to nestle to the side of the red. Instead of second shot, they would have had the line on it. That would have been all right. So I think if you're Team Blazer, you'd be happy with two, but you have two stones left. You want to make sure that you don't get this one too deep, leaving John Schuster with just another chance to come down and take it all away. That's a pretty decent guard. Should do the job. So now Team Schuster is looking for a way to prevent a score two from happening. Saw from his broom motions, there is the, the draw on the other side that no one has been playing. There's also a possibility to 
maybe even get shot out of this by going through that port, possibly. Bumping up his own yellow. He just threw this, so he knows what it's going to do. So Schuster's final stone at the end has been thrown. Would you look at that? Shot has been made, bumped up, grabbing a piece of the button. I can't tell with 100% certainty, but it certainly looked like yellow is shot stone out of this. Even if it's not, that does make the scoring area smaller. And it would be near impossible for Team Blazer to get a couple of points out of this. But if you see a chance there to score two points, your Team Blazer, you know who you're playing. You don't get to play these types of teams quite often. so. You certainly want to take your chances when you can to get a crooked number up there. They're not going to happen often. So given where the broom is, expect some weight to be thrown. Sweeper's on it right out of his hand. I think they like it. And that is a decent shot there. So Team Blazer will get on the board and get some fist pumps and some broom races by Team Schuster. So they're on the board and they'll look to try to force Team Schuster and, and number three. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium.
Welcome back to the third end here, the Prestige Hotels and Resorts Curling Classic here in Curling Stadium. My name is Matt Sussman. And you saw a nice shot there by Team Blazer. Get on the board, making this a 3-1 game. And also just a quick correction on the lineup here. And thanks to Scott Beck in the chat here. Uh, Caden Beck and Nolan Beck are not in this lineup. They are uh, feeling a little bit under the weather. Hope they feel better. So that is uh, Corbin Fadden and uh, his brother uh, filling in. Corbin Fadden throwing the skip stones. He's the guy with the long hair. This was played a couple years ago. He would have had the second best hair on the sheet here. But instead, now he's got the best hair. So for consistency's sake, we'll still call them Team Blazer. This is Nolan Blazer's team. He is in the lineup. He is throwing third stones. And they're down two without hammer. So pretty nice, fairly open end here. It's exactly what Team Schuster wants. And it may be simply a game of trading hits, waiting for one team or the other to blink. That shot rolls a little bit wide, but it is still good and in play. So they still need to chase it. So the team's now playing a little bit out wide, which they haven't done yet. A little more unpredictability is possible, if unlikely. The nose hit. They are running out of space on the house over there. If they keep treading those hits, this will not be in play at all. So Team Blazer will want to roll this one just a little bit, if anything.
Yeah, and there's a nice shot. Rolls very close to the button. Now we're not in danger of trading nose hits and getting out of the scoring area here. Throughout the course of this end, I hadn't bothered to see if that yellow stone just on the back line is in play. Both teams are acting as if it is out of play. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. And that over curls on them or was under thrown and rolls may not be completely out. If it's still touching in the back. And John's just going to want to split the house. Or if it is out, then they're just going to draw behind it, or in front of it, rather. So the sweepers pick them up right out of the hand, and they needed just about every lick there to get it into the 12 foot. So that ends up resulting in a nose hit.
might just be the blank here. Sure, if it was blank, just the rest of the way team shoes would be very happy. Maybe not so much the rest of us. And the blank is executed. Nobody scores. We go to the fourth. Vernon Dodge Jeep is the home of the no charge 60 day unlimited mileage buyer protection plan. Take home any late model pre owned vehicle from the fun store and you're leaving with complete peace of mind. Vernon Dodge Jeep for all your pre owned vehicle needs. And we're back to the fourth end here. The Prestige Hotels and Resorts Curling Classic here in Vernon, British Columbia. My name is Matt Sussman. Thanks again for watching with me here on a Friday night. No sport we'd rather be watching right now. We'll go just south of here in, from British Columbia in uh, nearby Seattle. Mariners fans are watching intently. If their team wins, then they get to go to the postseason for the first time in about 20 years. So if you're a Mariners fan, you want to have one eye on this game and one eye on the Mariners game, I won't tell anyone. So with the center guard up, the attempt was made to try and draw around it. They, they just ticked it over a couple inches, did land in the house, completely exposed. So Colin Huffman, the big man, will be asked to Take it out of play and have him sit too. And that rolls just to perfection. So if you weren't aware on Curling Stadium, every single game is being broadcast live. So if you're not a baseball fan and you do want to watch two sports events, you can watch this one and another one going on on any of the sheets. 
There are six sheets in play tonight. Many of the teams from British Columbia, a couple teams from Japan, one team representing Chinese Taipei. And of course, one team representing the red, white, and blue. So with Team Schuster sitting two, pretty well separated from the house. Team Blazer here trying to find a way to force the issue a little bit. He can throw the double here or hit and roll. Hit and roll, maybe frozen. And they're going to roll the other way. Opportunity here to peel the center guard. Instead of doing that, though, I think they are going to try to go underneath it. And that come around attempt just looks a little bit deep, but pretty well under cover. Let's leave a little wall in the back there. Should Team Blazer decide to draw to it, a little bit higher would be more ideal. So if I have this correctly, that is Nolan Blazer throwing the third stones dropping down a spot so that Coburn Fadden can call the shots. So Team Schuster opting to throw some more rocks in play here, trying to collect as many yellow stones as he can in the house rather than just blast everything. And all of us watching are much richer for him doing that. As Chris plies his draw, just lands T-line side of the button. Hard, hard to find a better spot than that.
Nice shot there to take the Schuster Stone off the button. Sit front and center. So Chris here, just looking to try to rearrange the furniture a little bit. So now, that little heavy draw, Schuster is now counting stone, at least one, probably just one. And I do have another correction to make. And I th again, thanks to all the people watching here. Also keeping me honest here, because they know more about the lineup than I do. It is. Calder Fadden throwing the skip stones. Coburn Fadden is playing second. So the Fadden brothers, a last minute addition to Team Blazer. Trying to Make it a close game, for sure. Yeah, first skip stone just comes down and is frozen. Definitely chokes off the button. Question is now who's shot? Based on the fact that Schuster's looking at playing some type of run back, it is possible that Team Blazer is possibly counting the stone in the back. Never really want to run in your opponent's rocks. A lot of bad things can happen, but it might be their only chance here. Team Schuster, after that deliberation, electing to make a play on this guard. He's going to get it out of there and roll a shooter away and 
Clean up some debris in the back, but it doesn't really change the situation much. Just a little more open than it was before. The team blazer here definitely wants to be careful. Whether they're shot or not, there is a, a, a play here for a big score. The blues as they stand right now can't be doubled. This is definitely a shot where you have to look at all the permutations, make sure you're not going to leave a shot for three or four. A guard is honestly not a bad call here. You were playing your Wednesday night league. I think there would be no other call than a guard. This is not a Wednesday night league. You are playing a team with a few Olympic medals in their back pocket. The final stone for Team Blazer has been thrown. Sweepers are just escorting it down the sheet. And that's just going to rest right in front of their other blue stone. Is there a play? Is there a play on that blue stone? They may not have to if they if they think they're shot. Let's see if we can get a good look here. They are eyeing it up. As you can see. It's kind of a toss up from this vantage point between the Blazer Redstone in the back, and then there's two other Schuster stones kind of surrounding the button. It's really a three rock race at this point to see who's closer. They are queuing it up to see if they can get any or enough of that yellow stone and push it back. And even if it was, something tells me it would only be for two anyways. So based on the call, I, I am suspecting the shot I thought might have been shot for Schuster his second shot 
And with this broom position, they are looking at just nudging it up probably just a few inches to get their one. So the hammer is out of the hand. And that is going to go a little wide, a little heavy. Doesn't look like it changed anything. The hang the score, we'll find out who scored there as we wait. We'll go to the fifth end. And we're back here for the fifth end here on Friday night. Second night of the Prestige Hotels and Resorts Curling Classic from Vernon, British Columbia. My name is Matt Sussman. So we're here in the second half of the game between Team Schuster and Team Blazer. Schuster picks up the single in a very crowded forefoot. Comes away with a point. Very hard earned point. The team Blazer here, as we mentioned earlier, a couple bouts of illness has taken the second and third normally on this team out. So a pair of brothers out, another pair of brothers in, the Fadden brothers, one of them even skipping this game. And they are holding their own. They are down 4-1, but they do have Hammer and a chance to score a couple points here. You know, when you are a young team and you are playing a team that has accomplished a lot over the last decade, you certainly want to make a good impression you want to make some shots it can be a little bit unnerving so the team schuster is is just they're a team that's a really good ambassador for the sport. They have they've done a lot to promote curling in the United States and, and really everywhere in the world. They're 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 beloved by several players and several fans and 
I'm sure that directly and indirectly, they're imparting some of their wisdom onto this young team. And there will be a thing or two that they will remember moving forward from this game. The chance to come around just slipped a little bit deep. So a chance at taking it out is successful. So Calder is uh, going for the, the shot that's the, the difficult one, the one he's probably been looking at for a couple of rocks here, as the hit and roll, probably not a double, maybe a double, but certainly could get one of them and roll into the corner as the ideal shot. It's going to overcurl a little bit and take one of them out and probably leave the shooter maybe for a biter. So shooters are going to do a couple things. They can hit this one on the nose, which is what they're going to do. Probably not the time for peeling the corner since this one is just biting. There's a good little hit and roll there. Someone might have even rolled onto the house itself. Team Blazer are going for the hit and roll again, this time on a different stone. Important thing here is to at least keep this rock in play. A little bit of positive roll there, but Still completely open there. It is shot. And Matt Hamilton there. Turning the hat around, meaning business, pushing that rock over. He does group them. We do have a couple options here. You could hit them as I believe they are attempting. You could also just ignore them and draw rounds. Sweepers want to go, but. Oh, and they do get one of them, but look where those rolled. That is unfortunate. Just tick that yellow over. That is squarely on the button, perfectly buried. That was a blue stone he ticked over. That'd be the shot of the night.
So guard is all that is needed here. It's going to overcurl a little bit. I block the counterclockwise side at least. And that's probably the one that's more guardable. This does lead to run back though. If made, Dean Blazer could be sitting too. Big shot here for Team Blazer. And Nolan Blazer, the one throwing it. He does pick it off the button. Stone run in is back 12 on the wing with the thrown rock. Pretty well separated there. Very good shot there from Nolan. The easiest way to pick that blue out, according to John, is to do the little one foot run back on his own. Angle might even be there to double off the blue rocks. And he'll get just the one. Clear out the front. Leave another guard. So this is the perfect chance for Team Blazer to split the house. He doesn't split the house. He can at least keep these as separated as possible. mantra in all of their heads is don't leave a double say that over and over in your head don't leave a double so they are going to use the guards and draw around those Try set up another run back. The two here is looking very plausible. Calder Fadden here, throwing skip stones. Not being touched. Where will it land? It's going to be back 12, just hanging on. Well, it's not exactly where you'd want the spot to be, but they are separated. However, John has a chance here. If he hits this one and rolls a couple feet, he can roll in front of that one, and the end is taken away. Really not a bad spot to hit this on the low side. Anywhere it rolls will probably be shot. Just can't hit this high. So 
There's the roll, and that is now shot. Now with this being the fifth end, again, you want to look and see, can you score two? Well, it doesn't look like you can. You're going to get the hammer back at least once. You draw your one and you try for a steal in the sixth. So a pretty well played end. Does leave them an open draw to the eight foot, a little bit of backing. Alder has struggled with draw weight in this game. Erring on the side of heavy. But he does get a second chance here. Giving her the sweepers call back 12. And they're marching right along with it. I think they like it. Should stop in time. It does come into the backing. Brooms go up. And that definitively will be one point for Team Blazer, and they will cut the lead to 4 to 2, but Team Schuster will take the hammer in two. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. And we're back here in the sixth end of the Prestige Hotels and Resorts Curling Classic in Vernon, British Columbia. My name is Matt Sussman. Team throw in yellow is Team Schuster. Team throw in blue is Team Blazer. Team Schuster with a 4-2 to two lead. So not only do they have two more points, but they also have the all-important hammer. And it is an even end as well. So everything looking good for the Americans. The game is relatively close, but not out of hand. And the local boys here from BC certainly have settled down after giving up a big steal of three in the first. We do need to find a way to force the issue here. Got a garden play. And their lead is being asked to throw it in the house, possibly freeze on top of shot stone. This one is sailing. That will land back 12.
Oh, three's attempt, not exactly where they wanted it, but still pretty good. Not a lot of places to hide now. Here's another draw that is barely being swept. Speed of the ice is fooling them. Will eventually settle in all the way in the back. Well, if you're a team Schuster, you're pretty happy with the way this is going. You almost would be fine throwing one through and just make making them throw another one. You don't want to put a rock somewhere that's gonna come back and bite you. It's a good problem to have. And they're clearing the rocks in the back there, seeing if they can just scooch around there. Pick one of those out, possibly. And he will touch both of them. One of them is out of play. Shooter rolls out. And the other shot, uh, the other blue laser rock is accessible. Very good result. So with that in mind, looks like another guard's gonna be thrown here. Run that one a little bit deeper. A lot of options here, all of them good. Three options there, the double peel, hit the open one, draw around. You got a lot of good options. That means a lot of pressure is not on you. The one the sweepers aren't touching. And that one's not going to stick around. Surprising miss there.
An opportunity here for Team Blazer to use the stone they just threw. Maybe make some noise on the yellows. It is one of those cases where the shot does look very tempting in terms of the angles. You do want to save your rocks, and, and you do have a potential jamming. Looks like they've thought better of it, and they're going to just try that come around again. Yeah, it's not a shot they've been making, but it's a shot they need right now. They can just stash one under those yellows. Might stay there for a while. Sleeper's working hard on it early. It's coming in and might just be a few inches deep, but that is a really nice draw. So Nolan Blazer there showing his draw weight. Now Chris Plies has to follow him down. It was the exact same line. He should be shot out of this. This one's also looking very good. That is going to land right in front of it. Excellent bounce back shot there by Chris. As we take a look at the overhead there and it's not quite definitive, but certainly yellow is in the better position being in front of the T line. So You'd rather be yellow. If this were a different score, maybe a, a tie game, a force would be a wonderful thing to have here, but Team Blazer trying as they can to get this one in a position where they can maybe deal with a uh, yellow. Instead, it's going to come up a couple feet short. Same line. They figured out that line. The weight's looking a lot better, but didn't even get past that other yellow. So that potential shot stone by Team Schuster might be staying in that house for the rest of the end. There's a lot of granite in front of it. It is an interesting dynamic, and every team has their own 
roles that everyone plays on the team. Typically what you see is the vice coming down and sort of being the sounding board for, for calls here, but for John Schuster, he's, he's very comfortable bringing Matt Hamilton his second down for that role. Especially when it's third stones. It's a combination that works for them and it shows that you can play any role on any team in any position. So that shot there is going to result in jiggling around the guards here. I think that's what they meant to do. Might be an opportunity here. Calder to potentially try to touch the yellows. Eyeing up a yellow yellow combo on the left. Don't know if that gets to the yellow shot stone. If it is shot stone. There is an opportunity here, though. If he can make a play on, on the shot stone, even if he doesn't move it, he could unlock it, and that would also be a very good result. Yeah, I mean, with that thing absolutely frozen, you could play yellow, yellow, yellow. And maybe spill it out, but it's never leaving. Play here might just to be unlock it from the blue stone because it is not helping. And you do need to find a way to score here. You need to find a way to steal. A little quiet weight tap might just do the trick here. That might be what they're doing based on the broom. These little soft weight back house, back line shots, they're very tricky to throw, but if you can make them, those are some of my favorite shots to throw. Not that I make them, but they are fun to throw. All about setting up those angles. And there is a chance here. So Calder Fadden throwing his first for Team Blazer. Sweepers like the weight. And that does dislodge, I believe, the ornery second shot. The team Schuster now in a bit of trouble here. And they are shot, but they are. Rather surrounded by blue.
Actually, I apologize. That shot was not unlocked. Um, yellow looks to be shot. And it's not leaving. There's not really a place for it to leave. And in other sports news, I do want to congratulate all of the Seattle Mariners fans for their team finally reaching Major League Baseball's postseason for the first time since 2001. I wonder how many of these Team Blazer kids were alive back then. That team that won 116 games. Had the likes of Ichiro and Edgar Martinez and I'm sure some Mariners fans in the house here. As we watch Schuster's first stone, they're going to play off the stone on the side here. I'm not sure what that does. I think they were trying to roll a little bit further, but didn't see the utility in that shot. Sure, there's a good reason for it. Nevertheless, your team blazer, how do you what do you do here? It again, it comes down to you're running out of time, you would love to steal, but how do you get there? They're eyeing up if there is a draw there. Is there anywhere, you, any way you can draw closer? It's another shot you can keep looking at. Not going to look any better there. Likewise, is there even a shot for two? It's probably worth the risk, though, if you can find a way to get a rock to right where no one's broom or right, right where no one's standing. No chance here for Team Blazer to try to make the force as sure as possible here. Sweeper's pushing this one over. And does dislodge everything. I think that made it a lot easier for John to Plop one onto the button for two. I'm trying to just try to decide what that shot was going to do. If the intent was for it to sort of rub off the 
top blue and maybe spinning for shot. It's the sixth end. You don't have hammer and you don't have a lead. You certainly sometimes have to stretch your imagination and find ways to score creatively. That one didn't work out, unfortunately. And now John here has a open draw for two. Rock is going to overcurl, and it's just going to be the score of one for Team Schuster. They'll take a 5-2 lead, and we're going to go into the seventh end. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. And we're back here in the seventh end of the Prestige Hotels and Resorts Curling Classic here on Curling Stadium in Vernon, British Columbia. My name is Matt Sussman. So Team Schuster had a draw for two. They'll settle for the one. They're up three. And they've been in control for essentially this entire game ever since the first end when they stole three. Team Blazer looking to get a multiple for the first time in this game. That is almost a necessity. They want any chance of pulling up a rather large upset here. As I just barely get that one out. So this is the second draw here of the men's side there are 12 teams three pools of four each team is going to get three games both of these teams lost their first game so this is a must win if they want to be in the top six for the playoffs and that third draw is going to be at one o'clock p.m tomorrow that is Pacific time. The 
The women's side has 13 teams featured in it. Two pools of four, one pool of five. So they should all be getting four games. We are carrying those as well. So the women's side will take the ice tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time with the final round robin games at 5 p.m. Pacific. We still have these games to finish out here on a nice Friday night. Those of you on the East Coast staying up, certainly appreciate it. There's no reason to go to bed yet. It can't possibly be anything you need to do early on a Saturday morning. Come around under the corner. Works out nicely for Team Blazer. And it is now time to start peeling those guards. So Matt Hamilton is going to take it out. No sweat. And rather than replace the corner guard, they are Team Blazer will just play into the house, try to get their two that way. A little risky. Still a lot of rocks left here. So there's potential for two, maybe even three. I think two is really name of the game here. Either way, they will have to steal at some point. The freeze is made. Can come up just a little bit there. John taking the safe play here, just hitting the open one. And the hit's made. Team Blazers are taking their time on this one. Now, there is no time clock in these games, so they can stay up as late as they want to the chagrin of the East Coast. Really, the, the mission here is to find a place for your stone where you're not setting up a double. I'm sure all of you have noticed the team placard saying Team USA for Team Schuster. 
everyone else getting the skips last names. And they are Team USA. Um, they did represent the US in the Olympics in 2022. They did sit out for the World Championships last year, giving that to Team Corey Dropkin, the Young Bucks, as they are branded. Team Dropkin is also going to represent the USA in the upcoming and inaugural Pan-Continental Curling Championships, which will start October 31st in Calgary. But they are the team from the United States in this field, so Team USA is entirely appropriate. Just get that one by. Actually, over curls. Lops out into the open. So, chance for a double here. They're sizing it up. May or may not be there. It's made perfectly, then. They just have to get right by that center guard. Bit of an unfortunate break there on that last shot there for Team Blazer. That is, of course, the danger of trying to group the stones together. Right out of the hand. And that is made an excellent shot by Chris Place. Team Schuster now sitting at least three. Got the button surrounded. A couple options here. Called her to conjure up some stones where they can't be taken out, but spaces are dwindling. So no one being asked to maybe tap one back here, which he did. John's just going to run this one back here, open it up if anything, but he might even make contact with that blue stone. And no mistake there on the run back. Schuster now sitting four. We're feeling it now. Just the score is also fading here. Let alone two. And they certainly need to. Let's see if Calder here can. Find a way to generate a skip stews, but the, there's really nowhere to hide. You, you're going to need a miss. They're looking at maybe trying to draw around the two yellows. And the call here, and it is a, it's a risky one. It's a tough one, but it's, again, when you need at this point is... Sort of a, a bump on those two yellows. If you're lucky, you'll get them both to go into the back of the house. I'm going to create a little safety net for the 
Stoney just throws. This is what you have to do at this point. There is no real path to scoring. Let's see if this young set of junior curlers here can open up the forefoot a little bit. And this has to be just a wonderful opportunity for everyone here on Team Blazer to play a world-renowned team. We do not get these opportunities all that often, but I'm sure they have dreams of playing teams like this that often. That doesn't curl quite enough. They'll just get rid of one, leave their shooter in the open. There's a chance here for John to just lock down the scoring area. Rolls maybe a half rock. That should be sufficient to make it really, really, really hard to score just one, if that. And shots made. Rolls a little bit more than they expected, but that well done. They are sitting four, and that is going to force a. No, oh, let's see if they can actually just hit this open to get the single. Probably can't roll much. So mission accomplished for Team Schuster on this end. A multiple score is not going to happen for Team Blazer. Really, the game has been closer than I think a lot of us thought. You look at the two teams and you see their accomplishments. That also could sort of be Team Schuster won, and I don't think they wanted to show up here and just win 12 nothing. You don't get to learn a lot about the ice and, you know, get your strategy brain working. All in all, it's been a pretty solid game. Chance here for Calder Fadden to put another point on the board here for Team Blazer with a well-made hit and stick. Sweeping right out of the hands. Guard coming up close and he just gets it there. Shot is made and that is going to be maybe one. That is going to be likely a point. We'll see what happens here in the eighth end. Got some questions about if our houses are painted or are they logo. Our events are always painted houses, but in the future coming out, I'm pretty sure we're going to be going to all logo houses. Uh, they're a great revenue source for any curling club. You can get your advertisements on there. And usually after the first year, 
the houses are paid for it's all free money for you so hopefully check it check that ice out for your future in-house look We're back here in the eighth and potentially final end here of the Prestige Hotels and Resorts Curling Classic. The second draw on the men's side between Team John Schuster and Team Nolan Blazer. It's pretty much been the Team Schuster show as we came in to expect. They are up five to three with the hammer. They can even concede a point and win. They'd be happy with that. This is a must win game for both teams. They want to stay alive and potentially play in the playoffs on Sunday. Team Blazer here has been okay. They've, they've struggled a little bit with draw weight on some key shots, but again, they've made it close. They've stayed in it. Very respectable score, especially given their competition. They should feel good about this game no matter what happens when they go to bed tonight. Into the game for shooter is just hit anything you can see. Chance to peel it out here. That's Colin Huffman. Just throw a rocket at it. Everything scatters. And given the fact that Team Blazer got their three points all on singles, a steal of two at this point is very unlikely. They have the one center guard, but a miss is going to be needed. A very, an open miss is going to be required. But I can't think about that now. Just make your shots and execute them. So looking around the rest of the games here in Vernon. We have Team Yanagisawa, the reigning Japanese national champions, took down Team Cody Tanaka 6-2. to two. Uh, Team Brent Pierce took down Team Merklinger 4-1. to one. That was a final after four ends. Team Robillard and Team Shen are both knotted at four going into the extra. Team Gall is leading Team DeJong 8-7, to seven, and Gall does have Hammer. And then on the other side of this game, Team Nobert and Team Hirata. That game is a final. Hirata wins 6-3. to three. Team Hirata, by the way, is the other team that beat Schuster. So they are at 2-0. and oh, And are expected to factor into the playoffs on Sunday. Team Pierce is also 2-0. Team Yanagisawa is 
Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, pawn spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium.